So, you already know that there's one switch in there. Here's the second one. Right there. So, I'm going to keep track. So, there's two of them. And then, if you come... Which one do I want to do? Yeah. If you come this way, maybe. There we go. So, two. There's three. And that's the truck daiquiri as well. So, three. And then, you got number... Four, which is up this way. Yep, there's number four. And look, there's Tombstone Soda as well. Such, such a troll. There's no way you can get to it. So there's four, I think. And there's five. Go ahead and buy some electric cherry as well. So yeah, how much is that? Five, I believe. So, number six is down this way. Yep, there's six. And seven, I believe it's over here somewhere as well. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, you do gotta open up another door as well. Okay, there's seven, I think. Or maybe that's eight. I don't know, I lost track. Oh, I don't got enough to get the rest of them. Okay, then. So, we just got to do another round, I guess. I should have waited on that trick, Sherry. But, oh, well. I don't even have enough for... I don't even have enough to buy MSMC ammo now. So, I'm probably screwed. I think MSMC ammo is like 600. So, I can nearly afford it. But, Defty will not... Be able to afford it before I run out of ammo. Okay, I guess the other zombie's way over here. Oh yeah, there's another one I forgot to get as well. Oh! Whoops! I did not mean to throw the hat. He's not even going after the monkey. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yep, I did not mean to throw a monkey. I meant to knife him, but oh well. Okay, so I got six perks. I think I don't need any more perks for now. I think I'm pretty much set up on perks. Just need to try and get enough to unlock Packet Punch now. Got a couple more switches to hit. Oh, I just got enough for ammo over 600. Let's hope it is. Go play over there, monkey. How much is it? 630. Wow. Okay, I'll get enough right now. There we go. Okay, nice. And they do spawn up there, so I need to be careful. Okay, well, that was interesting. I was able to get ammo at least. I think I got a crawler out of it as well. Or maybe I accidentally killed him. And all that sprayage. Who knows? Um, 10 zombies left. Yeah, I think I killed the crawler. Wow. Double points at the end of the round. Beautiful. Dang it. That wouldn't have... That would have been an awesome crawler as well. Because I just threw that grenade to even see the zombie. Okay. So there's still another zombie somewhere. Another runner. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one. Yeah, I still have not gotten a max ammo. Okay, so there's that one. Now, I believe the last one is all I need to hit. And I know exactly where that's at. Oh, no. There is one over this way. My bad. So there. That's nine, I believe. And then there's one... Over here where I was headed before. And I believe that's all of them. Pretty sure it is. I sadly do not have enough to pack a punch. I would at least pack a punch one gun just to show you guys the camo. 
I think I'm gonna pack punch the M27, which is on the wall right there. There we go. And I believe that's the final switch now. So let's go check if pack punch is opened. Yep, look, there we go. Pack punch is now opened. So now we can teleport and get the final piece to the Bible ending. Already. But look at this cityscape as well. Looks so amazing in the background. Okay. You do stay up here for a long time though, so. See, here is the final port. That's like a tablet or. I don't know what that is, but that's something. But there we go. But yeah, look at that city. That city looks amazing. And then you got something going on over there. Got like a bridge down there as well. With a bunch of stuff. I wish you could just play up here forever. Just check out all the views as well. But you cannot fall off though. Believe me, I've already tried. Okay, you can teleport me back now. Thank you. See what I mean? You stay there for an unreasonably long amount of time. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add this port and press F to end the game. Cost 50,000. So now we just need to get 50,000 points. But like I said, I am going to pack a bunch at least one gun before I end this. At least one gun. And I think I'm going to go with the M27, because I think the MSMC is going to be my point builder. My M27 is going to be like my panic weapon. But you guys are going to love the camo on it. Should be able to get enough to pack punch this round, hopefully. But see, it's not a pretty big map. And a fairly simple easter egg is just requiring you to look around for... Buildable ports and then look around for the panels as well. That could take the longest amount of times, but it's not a hard Easter egg at all. Definitely not a hard Easter egg. But it's still a pretty fun map. I mean, with a training spot like this, it's not entirely too hard. But they do spawn from everywhere and you do gotta watch out. Or you will die. And dying is never fun. But you do have the OP electric cherry to help you out though. So you always got that to look forward to. Also the blinding electric cherry. But it does take all my points which kind of sucks. So I need to watch out my... Watch for my reloads. I don't want to injure the zombies. Okay, um, this guy seems like he's the final zombie, but there's, it says that there's still another zombie somewhere. But I'm not exactly sure where he is. But yeah, it definitely says two zombies left. So I have no idea where he is. Let's just go pack a punch, I guess. Oh, he died. Okay, guess he was glitched somewhere. I don't know, that happens a couple times to me on this map. But not too often. Good thing I got stamina up though. Sadly it's not the super fast stamina up like we see in some custom maps. There we go. Go ahead and link it and then teleport. So yeah, it's not even hard to link it. I mean the link pad and mainframe is right next to each other. And now there's Pack-a-Punch. And now we got the mystifier. And look at this camo as well. The camo looks amazing. Somebody in my stream mentioned that it was one of the camos from multiplayer. I can't remember what it's called. I think I kind of want to say it's called the cyborg camo. I kind of want to say. I'm not too sure. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But somebody said that it was the cyborg camo. I'm pretty sure they said that. Or maybe it's a different camo altogether. I have no idea. But now we can see the view again from up top. 
If only you could go in those buildings over there. That would be amazing. Or even go on the bridge. But sadly, you can't. Okay, nice. So we're back. And now, we pretty much are set up. Now we just need to get the 50,000 Bible ending. Leave down in the comment section what round you guys think I'm going to get the 50,000 Bible ending on. Keep in mind, I will be using the Mystifier. I mean, the MSMC most of the time. The Mystifier is just like my backup weapon if I run out of ammo with the MSMC. But I'm not going to be packing punching anything else. I'm most likely not going to be buying any other perks. The only thing I'll be buying is ammo if I need it. Oh, speaking of ammo. So yeah, leave in the comments what round you guys think I will beat this map on. Keep in mind, something hor horrible could go wrong and I could end up game over in or just go down and have to buy all my perks back, which will put me down like 10,000 points. Which means that I'll have to go a couple extra rounds. So keep all that in mind whenever you guess. And hopefully this will not be the final part as well. It shouldn't be the final part, I don't think. Or maybe it is. Who knows? Either way, write down what round you guys think I'll make it to right now as you're hearing this. I don't care if this is the final part or whatever. Do not just wait until you see the finale and find out what round I, I end up beating it on. Let me know right now. Right this second. Okay, well, you guys, I hope you guys put in your guesses. I think probably around 19. I can't remember when I was set up for whenever I beat this map the first time. I cannot, oh, crap, grab the nuke. Nice. Yeah, I can't remember what round I was on whenever I got fully set up on my, um, on my attempt whenever I beat this map on the live stream, can't remember exactly what round it was that I got set up on. But I believe I beat it like round 17 or 18. I don't think it's going to happen this time because I'm, al I'm already on round 14 and I only got 5k points. But this was pretty much my setup whenever I beat this map on my live stream. I, I did have all the perks besides Mule Kick though. I had PhD Flop and Death Shot Daiquiri as well. And I was using the MSMC and the Mystifier. So I had the same exact gun set up. But just two extra perks than what I have now. Okay, so we got 7k points right now. Electric Cherry's gonna wind up stealing all my kills though. I pro probably should not have bought it. I mean, it's not going to help me that much. So I don't know. Really was the point of buying it. But oh well. Hopefully I get a couple max in I mean a couple double points during the middle of the round though. I don't want double points at the end of the round or well beginning of the of the round could be pretty nice. But not at the end of the round. Cause then you gotta wait for the round to change and then you gotta wait for the zombies to spawn in. And all that stuff. Begin of the round. All that you gotta do is wait for all these zombies to gather up. But for some reason I'm not getting any double points right now. I need some of that double points. Well it's round 15 already. And I and there's 44 zombies. And I only got 10,000 points. But I'm one fifth of the way there I guess. One fifth of the way hype. Oh crap. I should not have got that. Because with insta kill that means less points. Meaning that it takes longer for me to get enough for the Bible ending. But oh well. I do what I do, I guess. I'm just wasting him with like it's nobody's business right now. Why not just go ahead and grab that? I did horrible as it was during this round. It's absolutely horrible. Okay, nice. Yeah, I only got like 4,000 points that round. That was not too good. Not too good at all. But we're heading on to round 16 now. 
Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this map. Um, like I did in my live stream. There was no way. Sadly not. I'll still beat this map regardless though. No matter what round I make it to, I'll still beat it, I hope. Hope nothing bad happens. Okay, that zombie got shocked even though I didn't even read the hold. That was weird. Come on, where's my double points at? If only there was a Bible double points on like one of these vehicles or something. That'd be kind of good. Yeah, I'm even killing the zombies with the electric cherry even though I'm not reloading it. Kind of funny. Yeah, the electric cherry is definitely stealing all my points though. Which kind of sucks. Oh, double points, please. Max ammo. There's my double points. But it's kind of at the end of the round. You know what? I need to go ahead and take it anyway, though. Even though it's at the end of the round, I won't get that many points with it. I still had to take it. That's your cherry shot not to kill them anymore, either. Well, at least I got like 15 to 16 zombies with those double points. We are nearly halfway there. Nearly halfway there. 21,620 points. So yeah, hopefully you guys guessed like in the 20s. Because that seems like that's going to happen. Unless I happen to get like 3 or 4 double points during this round. Which I don't see that happening. So I hope you guys guess like in the 20s. Did I ever say like my guess? I don't think I did. I think I was just rambling on too much and I forgot to mention my guess. I think maybe like... I don't know, maybe 22, 23. Something like that, I think. I don't know, we'll have to see how things go, I guess. I may be able to beat it before round 20 if I get extremely lucky with the double points and stuff. Got a nuke right there. Oh, max ammo. Wonderful, now I don't got buy ammo. Okay, if I can quickly kill these guys, I'll be able to grab the nuke. For an extra 400 points. Give me this. Nice. Okay, 29,000, and we're on round 18 now. So we're slowly getting there. We are slowly getting there. Nearly three-fifths of the way there. Well, now I am three-fifths of the way. So yeah, if you guys got any custom maps that you guys want to see, or any Black Ops 2 zombies, which... Oh no. No, no, no. Dang it. Okay, this is bad. Yep, hopefully you guys guessed in the 20 range. Because that's definitely going to happen. But monkey that way? Why did you just switch weapons randomly? That was weird. Okay, I need to go back and get Jug. But yeah, hopefully you guys guessed in the 20s. But yeah, leave some suggestions for more custom maps that you guys want to see me play. As well as some um, um, Black Ops 2. Because I think I'm going to head on to Black Ops 2 next. I haven't done a Black Ops 2 challenge in a while. Or Black Ops 1 challenge. Either Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 challenge. And I'll try and get it done this weekend for next week. And who knows? Maybe that'll be my final video until Axel Zombies releases. Depending on how long this goes on for. This little series on cargo. I may have time for only one more. One more video series before Black Ops 2. I mean before Axel Zombies comes out. Then I'll be grinding on that for a couple weeks. And then, of course, once Exo Zombie hype dies down, and I do a few challenges on that, as well as my first attempt, I will be switching back over to Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, as well as Custom Zombies. I'm just going to be grinding on that for a couple of weeks, 
getting out my first attempt, obviously, as well as a few challenges, like three or four challenges on that before switching back to the other games. You know what? You know what? I may not even buy Double Tap. Yeah, I think I'm not even going to buy Double Tap. Because I definitely do less damage without Double Tap. So, I think without buying Double Tap, I think that would kind of help me a little bit. Because I definitely... It takes a while to kill the zombies without Double Tap. Than it does with Double Tap. That is for sure. And more, more it takes to kill the zombies, the more points I'll get, obviously. God, what also get stamina up real quick. But yep, I cannot wait to get my hands on Exo Zombies. Cannot say that enough. Exo Zombies is going to be so freaking amazing. Cannot wait for it. It doesn't seem like it's that popular though. I'm, I mean, I'm definitely gonna be recording it like crazy and live streaming it like crazy. But it doesn't seem that popular on Twitch or YouTube. So I don't know how it will go, but... I'm sure some of you guys would love to see me play Exo Zombies. Running around with the Exo abilities. Punching everything. Double jumping. Or Exo Jump, I believe it's called. Exo Slamming it. I'm sure you guys would love to see all that. And I will be doing a solo Easter egg guide. Within like the first couple weeks That is released. I mean not so much a guide just a playthrough cuz I would do the Easter egg solo so bad So I may just do like a playthrough of it. It won't be like an actual guide It'll just be me from the very beginning up until I complete the Easter egg So that will be coming within the first Whoa Okay, guys, sadly the map crashed for me. It came up with like too many script variables or something like that. Not exactly sure why that happened. That's the very first time that's ever happened to me. But sadly, I could not beat this map for you guys. I did not really feel like playing it again just to get that stupid error again. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this map. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Peace out.